Have you seen Siri? She was with your elf. You'll not cut through their plate. Too thick. Push her in the sea.
quick. We must hurry. Damn it! That ship's about to disintegrate. Hide in the harbor when you have a Go! for that. 
No chance, you're wrong. Trusted you once, won't make that mistake again. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower, because I aim to enter it. Didn't think it worthwhile to tell me, warn me of your plans? I'm sorry, I know. <sighs> Feels like... Leave with me. I will go. Why the hell would you... The White Frost has not. The prophecy. Only... You don't have... You're wrong. Only I can stop. This is my story, not... Yeah, I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits.
Weren't you supposed to be somewhere? Yeah. All right. Where'd you agree to meet? By the Huntsman's Cottage. Old always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. You just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him, I've always said I'm a count. True, you have always said so. <laughs> just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well, when we finally leave this God's forsaken dung hole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. Got plans for all these lands and titles? I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? When you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion. My dear friend and companion, why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla, known also as Calinetta. Your heart, mate, true. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a Count. No need for the Count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. She's recovered. Back to full health physically, mentally, almost. Recovered? What did I miss? Ah, right. Ended up not hearing about it? She was attacked. Around the time you were in Novigrad. Bugger hurt her something awful. But, as I said, she's getting better even started performing again. Thank the gods. Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss, even. A bit from you, mostly from me. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs, spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi, <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Geralt? Well? May the sun shine upon you. Sadly, all out of curdled milk. If you're head swimming, that is. What was that stuff we drank yesterday, after the charred oak spirit? My very own thrice distilled plum brandy. Everyone's talking on it, though I tapped the barrels as recent. Likely to get more patrons now. Truth be told, I've got my hands full with you lot. But my place will likely fill up more come evening. I cannot work out why the old inn wife abandoned this tavern and moved to Rustone. Was that stuff we drank? Maybe like that. So long. What now? Perhaps you should tell the black ones about it. Who I know? God's preserve ye. Freak. Gun cold. Hey! Bloody hell! Ow! Plowing ear pits! Help me! Out in a hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. Hey, man. She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields, 
prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Are you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! What? A hair faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... it's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but 
Do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No. We'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Witcher's trick for tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Pelagarci. What? Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. Huh. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Cam Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> huh? Had to wait till now to remind me. You've put on some weight since Kaer Morhen. should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How could I forget? Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You could have told me, warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. I wanted to make every minute count. So... Back at the nest, I was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time, a lot more time. You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great, she even know? 
No. And I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Kaer Morhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. <laughs> True. Remember what I taught you. you. Never know. Could be useful there too. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir, he and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. 
Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The Witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. 